it going guys? Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way on taking long exposure photos with your iPhone or smartphone. Um, so the first thing you guys want to do is download an app called AVG Nightcam. That's the one down the bottom right hand corner on my phone. So first off I'll take some photos with the uh, uh, default uh, iPhone camera app just so we can compare the photos we take with the AVG Nightcam and the uh, iPhone camera. So I'll go ahead and just take some uh, photos out front of my house. It's not the best uh, setting really, but we will still get a kind of good effect and we will get um, like a good comparison. So I'll go ahead, I'll take an HDR and a usual photo just so we can compare both. So there's that photo. So once you've downloaded AVG Nightcam, open it up. And depending on the setting you're in, uh, how much light there is, kind of how smooth you want the photo to be, um, there's different settings you can do. Um, so you want to go to the bottom left hand corner where you'll find the settings. And the way this app work, works is it takes multiple photos and it overlaps them, kind of like HDR, but you don't get those high and low dynamic ranges. So for tonight, because it's quite dark here, I'll go 32 photos, so we'll take 32 successive photos. And for the light sensitivity, I'll go 0 0.5. And you can go all the way up to, what's the max, uh, just over a thousand photos, and then you can go manual, which is pretty much as uh, much as you guys want. So once you've done those settings, um, as I said, it depends on what you want to shoot. Uh, click on the bottom left hand corner to get rid of that. And then just set up your phone. And like you were taking any photo with, say, a DSLR or a mirrorless, you do want uh, like a, a pretty sturdy base and uh, a tripod just to keep it stable. So I'll go ahead and I'll just focus on this far fence. And then I'll go ahead and just press the shutter. And that will go ahead and take all those photos. And that's done. And then from in here, you can ch change the brightness and contrast. But you can do that on um, any kind of the Instagram apps or whatever you are deciding to do with this photo. So I'll leave it as is. Uh, so I'll go to the bottom right hand corner and I'll press the save. And that will save that to my camera roll. So um, I'll go back into my camera roll and we'll have a look at the um, comparison between the three photos. So here we go, here are the first two I took with the default iPhone um, camera. So you can tell there's a bit of noise, but overall it's I guess it's not too bad. Um, I am using an iPhone 5, if you had a newer phone you would get better results. But for what it is, it's not horrible, it's not horrible but it's okay. And this is the second one, this is the HDR, it seems a bit smoother. Um, but pretty similar. And this is the final shot we did with the AVG Nightcam. And you can tell straight away it is more brighter and that noise has been reduced a lot and the clarity is um, a lot higher as well. So you can tell straight away that there is a, a really good kind of result compared from that one to this one. And say if you were like on a water uh, setting or with like passing traffic um, that you were standing in front of behind, you would get those streams of light as well. So this is a really versatile app if you are looking to take um, long exposure photos with your camera on your iPhone or smartphone and you will be uh, pretty surprised with the results um, you'll get. So um, give it a try guys, let me know what you think, um, let me know what you took a photo of and yeah good luck, all the best, thanks.